Canada's big banks made bundles off balance protection insurance, a product the government's own financial watchdog calls high risk for consumers, problematic and often sold without appropriate explanation. It's expensive, it, uh, it doesn't cover uh, a lot of situations and it pays out a very small amount most of the time. Why are the banks selling it? It's a pure profit. To see just how they're selling it, we asked Haider Amin to wear a hidden camera and hear the sales pitch. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Sometimes bank employees couldn't even explain the insurance. Okay. So what is it? Insurance. Apparently, uh, um, uh. Other times, they were inaccurate. Like, let's say you were using your card and you had $5,000 on it and you lost your job, like Scotiabank will pay, uh -huh. off, pay off your credit card. That's not exactly true. This insurance typically only covers the minimum payment or a small part of your balance. Even then, many don't ever collect, including Haider Amin, even when his job ended. I felt like they were taking advantage of me of a student. They didn't explain things for me enough to know more about balance protection. Bank insiders told us they sometimes mislead customers to make a sale and a commission. I found this whole situation very scummy. Some customers told us they ended up paying premiums they never asked for. Without my permission, without my knowledge. I didn't ask for it. Canada's big banks say they take customer concerns seriously and the insurance is meant to help customers. But in the US, UK and Australia, some banks have stopped selling the insurance after they were fined billions for misleading consumers including over similar practices on credit card protection insurance. There have been warnings in Canada, but no similar crackdown. Instead, customers like Hyder Amin are trying to get the money they paid back. So unfortunately, there is not much we can do in regard. David Common, CBC News, Toronto.